what I'll be doing now is we're going to do the next coat of the resin into the lake. And I've got this resin from Hobby Lobby called Easy Cast. And we're going to be using this. I've got a little paper cup from Hardy's. And then this mixes the same way as the other stuff. So it's an even up uh, proposition. Ah, that's nice. This is the uh, this is the resin, and this is the hardener. So you want equal amounts of both, and I'm covering much larger area than I did before. So we're going to be doing one and a half. So here's one. We're going to fill this up to the brim. And then we're going to add this to the cup. And then I'm going to do the half. And we're going to cap this off. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the half of the hardener first. <coughs> so that I can get the measurements the same. As the other side. Put a little touch more of this into here. Okay. So now we take the half of this. Get as much out of there as we can. get the rest of this see what we can get out of here okay so that's one and a half of the actual resin and then we're gonna do here's the half of the hardener and then we'll do the full one of the hardener Leave a whole lot. And put the full one of the hardener in. Just pump that in there. And we throw those away because they're unusable now. And then we mix this up thoroughly. Stirring and stirring and stirring. Now, it does say that I can add a little bit of color 
to this. So what I'm adding is just a couple of drops of a, of a blue. And this is just to tint it just a little bit. We don't want to darken it up too much because we still want the details at the bottom of our little pond here to show through. So now that that's all mixed up, let's get on with the pouring. And there we have the second, the second pour is complete. And we have to wait for quite a little while for this to dry. It's going to be at least 12 to 24 hours before this even sets up decent enough to continue on and ha actually handle it. And it'll, it should clear up some. As almost all these resins are a little bit on the darker side when they're first poured. So we're going to let that dry and there will be more to follow. Thanks for watching.